Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Quick one. Where do you run to or what do you do when things turn out different from what you expect? You're expecting something to go one way and then suddenly everything seems to be crashing. It's supposed to follow the natural way or bad news comes to hit you. What do you do? Two things. Or two sets of people. Jesus described them. The first set were those who built their house on a sandy foundation. A foundation that was wobbly, fluid. It didn't have any concrecity. It didn't have any um, firmness. It was mobile. When, those, when that bad news hit, when that storm came, it bashed at the house and because there was no foundation, it wasn't founded on a rock. There was no bedrock for it, so to speak. It collapsed. But the second set, which I hope you are one of them, are those who built on the foundation of what Jesus said and did what he said. Note in that system, he didn't say just to build it on what he said. The foundation is not just those who hear those who hear and do so when that bad news comes what are you doing are you doing what he said are you listening to what he said and are you doing what he said and not just doing what he said as at the time the thing happens but prior to it having happened that bad news coming what have you been doing have you been listening to what he says and doing it if that's what you've been doing you are prepared for that storm that storm would would wear itself out on you. It will beat itself sore on you and quell. And you'll be left standing. But if you are one of those who you've heard, but you're not doing, what is a typical example? He says that Jesus became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. And then you have you come across financial adversity. But you have known this, this scripture and you, from, in, from inside of your heart and you, 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 you believe it to the point that you confess it with all conviction. And that financial adversity comes your way. Yes, it would, could beat, 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 beat. But if you refuse to let go of that word, it will beat itself so and abate and you will come out on top. Same thing. Jesus took your sicknesses and carried your pains and by his stripes you were healed and you've been in health and you've stood on that word, believed that word and then the adversity of sickness comes your way. But you say, no, that's not what Jesus said. He says that by the stripes, by his stripes I was healed. And you refuse to let those symptoms get the better of you. That is to cause you to change your mind. You say, no, that's not what God said. He said it in his word that I'm here. And then you act that way. You have, you have, it means that you built on that rock of his word. That storm of illness will beat and die. But you will be left standing. That's what it means to be a doer of the word. And building on the rock. The rock of his word. Which is not just hearing. And you say I built it on his word. No. You hear and you do. So what do you do when that storm comes? You continue doing what you were doing before the storm came. And what were you doing? You ought to have been hearing and doing his word. That way, the storm, will, will come. it comes to everybody. But when it gets to you, you are the master. Because you are, you are camped with the master. It will abate. God bless you. Hallelujah.